Hello dear students this is Mrs Pavitra Ashok your english teacher i welcome you all to this offline english class students in the previous session we had understood the second part of the prose the blind dog let me ask you few questions to know how much you remember your first question is what is the meaning of the word snap The meaning of the word snap is make a sudden audible bite. Your second question is what was the name of the old beggar? Yes, the name of the old beggar was Sami. Very good students. Students, now please look at paragraph 10. I am going to read it. Please follow as I read. To the extent of this loss, his master gained he moved about as he had never moved in his life all day he was on his legs led by the dog with the staff in one hand and the dog lead in the other he moved out his home a corner in a chowtri veranda a few yards off the market he had moved in there after the old woman's death he started out early in the day he found that he could treble his income by moving about instead of staying in one place he moved down the chowtri street and wherever he heard people's voices he stopped and held out his hands for alms shops schools hospitals hotels he left nothing out he gave a tug when he wanted the dog to stop and shouted like a bullock driver when he wanted him to move on The dog protected his feet from going into pits or stumping against steps or stones and took him up inch by inch on safe ground or steps. For this sight people gave coins and helped him. Children gathered round him and gave him things to eat. A dog is essentially an active creature who punctuates his hectic rounds with well defined periods of rest. but now this dog henceforth to be known as tiger had lost all rest he had rest only when the old man sat down somewhere at nights the old man slept with the cord turned around his finger i can't take chances with you he said a great desire to earn more money than ever before seized his master so that he felt any resting a waste of opportunity and the dog had to be continuously on his feet sometimes his legs refused to move but if he slowed down even slightly his master goaded him on fiercely with his staff the dog whined and groaned under his thrust don't whine you rascal don't i give you food you want to loaf do you swore the blind man the dog lumbered up and down and the round and round the marketplace on slow steps tied down to the blind tyrant long after traffic at the market ceased you could hear the night stab by the far off feel of the tired dog it lost its original appearance as months rolled on bones stuck up at his haunches and ribs were relieved through his fading coat students please look at meanings of new words chowtri a resting place treble consisting of three parts goad prick groan make a deep sound of pain loaf to spend time in idleness lumber cause difficulty by giving unwanted responsibility tyrant a cruel ruler wail a high pitched cry haunches relieved bone of back leg standing out now the dog lost its freedom completely the blind man depended on the dog and his dependence made him into a merciless slave driver the blind man started earning more because he could move about the marketplace with the dog leading him it became a slave to its master wherever he heard people's voices he stopped and held out his hands for alms shops schools hospitals hotels 
he left nothing out the dog protected the blind man from all dangers and the blind man now became wholly dependent on the dog both for making a living and to live if the dog grew tired of walking around leading the blind man he would goad it on fiercely with his staff he shouted like a bullock driver when he wanted him to move on the dog protected him inch by inch on safe ground and steps for this sight people gave coins and helped him children gathered round him and gave him things to eat now the blind beggar named his dog as tiger he had rest only when the old man sat down somewhere a great desire to earn more money than ever before seized his master so that he felt any resting a waste of opportunity and the dog had to be continuously on his feet sometimes his legs refused to move but if he slowed down even slightly his master scolded and goaded him on fiercely with his staff the dog lumbered up and down and round and round the market place on slow steps tied down to the cruel master at night the dog was wailing because of tiredness it lost its original appearance students now please look at paragraph 11 the ribbon seller the novel vendor and the perfumer observed it one evening when business was slack and held a conference among themselves it rends my heart to see that poor dog slaving can't we do something the ribbon seller remarked that rascal has started lending money for interest i hear from the fruit seller he is earning more than he needs he has become a very devil for money at this point the perfumer's eyes caught the scissors dangling from the ribbon rack give it here he said and moved on with the scissors in his hand meanings of new words slack means loose conference means a meeting as the dog was slaving its cruel master was observed by three sellers they held a meeting among themselves the ribbon seller wanted to do something for the slaving dog at this point the perfumer's eyes caught the scissors dangling from the ribbon rack he took the scissors and moved on with the scissors in his hand dear students in this session we have understood the third part of the prose the blind dog written by r k narayan i hope you all have understood let me see how much you have understood please answer these questions your first question is what is the meaning of the word wail the meaning of the word wail is high pitched cry of pain your second question is how did the blind beggar name his dog the blind beggar named his dog as tiger your third question is who held a conference among themselves yes the ribbon seller the novel vendor and the perfumer held a conference among themselves excellent students dear students now i am going to end up this session meet you in the next session with the story of the blind beggar part 4 bye for now thank you have a nice day